On this Friday night, we move now to a Ones for Justice investigation into dangerous dogs. If a dog attacks a person or a pet, cities can deem it dangerous and impose some pretty strict rules. But consumer investigator Alana Otler has found out where those animals live, we understand, is often a well kept secret. Tell us more. Yeah, Doug, if your neighbor's dog attacked a person or a pet, you'd probably want to know about it. But getting that information isn't always easy. People should be able to enjoy themselves and feel safe walking in their neighborhood. That's why Dallas Animal Services makes its dangerous dog registry public. The online list includes photos of the dogs along with their owner's name and address. That is what the website is for, to inform the public of dogs that are currently living in the city that are deemed dangerous. Fort Worth does the same thing. So do Arlington and Plano. But the ones for justice found most cities keep their registries offline or completely private. 28% tell us they would release the information through an open records request. 33% refuse to share any details, period. We don't allow dogs that are deemed dangerous by us or by anybody else. You won't find a registry in Garland. That's because once the city deems a dog dangerous, it either has to move or be killed. In the case of a severe attack or a severe bite, it's hard to justify keeping that animal in town. But pet owner Sherry Mock says the system is far from perfect. The city of Garland totally let us down. She says two dogs with a history of aggression mauled her pet buddy. This happened after the city had received half a dozen complaints about the dogs getting loose. They hunted him down and they killed him. The city picked up the dogs, one with dried blood on it, and deemed both animals dangerous. A few days later, their owner appealed the designation, claiming no one witnessed the attack. She won, and the dogs went home. Mock says no one even told her. It feels horrible. I don't have my dog anymore, and she gets to keep her dogs. The mocks were upset that we didn't notify them of the appeal hearing, and I think that's a legitimate issue. Because of this, the Garland Health Director says the city now ensures victims are notified of appeals. But he says the appeal is decided strictly on documentation no testimony allowed. In both cases, you're dealing with what people consider to be a family member. It's an emotional issue for both sides. Garland isn't the only city that bans dangerous dogs. We've put together a map of policies showing who expels dogs and which cities keep their registries private. Doug, that's at CBSDFW.com. All right, information is power. We appreciate you bringing it to us. And if you need Alana's help anytime to get justice, she is always available, as is the whole team, through our Ones for Justice hotline. That's at 817 586 7211. Or you can email, if you like that better, it's justice at CBS.com.